So here we are, version 1.3.2 of AUFR, and for this playthrough I'm going to be playing on the medium difficulty agent, and gold rewards are going to be turned on so you can see some of the new features, and I'm also going to be showing every single cheat code location, the secret cheats that have been added to AUFR 1.3. So I'm going to show you where exactly they are, but you're not actually going to see them in the video. So to get the password, you're going to have to play the game. Uh, so to start off with, let's just look at this beautiful menu. LTO Rata basically redrew all of these assets. If I toggle back and forth, you can see this is the original game. And this is the new textures. And same here on level select. Just look at the difference between the text the level images, it's just fantastic work. We used AI Upscaler for a lot um, of the assets, but LTO Rata was able to redraw quite a bit of stuff too. I like the new GameCube model there for the controller um, controls. So not every texture has been replaced in the game. Only ones that are like, you know, central focal points, like uh, the helicopter here is a higher resolution texture. Uh, things like the Identicon flag. Um, the player models have been replaced with less compressed textures. The briefcase is higher res. So just anything, you know, that might draw the t player's attention or the game forces right in front of your face, that's been improved for the most part. Uh, Bond's face texture has also been improved greatly. It turns out that the PC version of Nightfire holds a, um, a texture for Agent Under Fire's Bond. Um, so there's a pretty good quality texture uh, that we were able to use that's technically official. And you'll be able to see that better face texture in, in an upcoming cutscene. Things like the uh, computers also um, have been upscaled. Just a lot of little details. I'll try not to overuse the, P the gold P2K because I know it's very, very strong. Um, so you'll notice the tokens are platinum colored now. Uh, so that was a decision that I made because Growing up as a kid playing this game, I actually got kind of confused by the fact that the menu shows you um, the Bond Move emblem as a requirement for unlocking a Platinum Medal. So when I first started trying to get Platinums as a kid, I was trying to get all the Bond Moves when really you're supposed to be getting all the tokens. Uh, so I thought it made sense to go ahead and recolor the tokens to Platinum. Here's something funny that uh, a lot of people don't know about. So this hiding spot is extremely generous. <laughs> well, they spotted me because they heard me taking steps, but you can just stand there right in front of them and, and they'll, uh, they'll never see you. Uh, so there used to be a load zone in this hallway and you'd get stopped right here and then you'd load in in the plant room. Um, this is one of my favorite changes that this mod makes. I was able to take that load trigger and by looking at the Xbox map file and then kind of translating that over to the GameCube map file, I was able to pinpoint the coordinates for that um, trigger and I was able to luckily move it just out of bounds so it's no longer here and you can see this unused area. And the reason it went unused I think was just error on the developer's part. I think they uh, they meant to get rid of it before launch and they just forgot. They probably didn't have an area beyond that hall until later in development. You can see that new HD briefcase, wow. The weapon textures have been improved as well. Um, it's very subtle, but there is less compression on those textures.
So coming up, I'm going to show you a secret that you probably know about by now because Grassloo has shown it multiple times. Um, I showed it off kind of at the end of a video a while back, but really probably the best uh, secret in this game that the developers put in. Let's not die. Let's get that. So the shotgun is one of the most overpowered guns in this game, especially in single player. It does like 320 damage per shot. Um, to put it kind of some context in, I think the KS7 does like 10 damage per bullet. <laughs> so, oh, the secret. So over here, I believe it's this one, this little light accent. You come over here and just press A like it's a button. And the sharks will have laser beams coming off their head now. So that's a reference to Austin Powers, which came out about the same time as this movie. I mean, as this game. Am I glad to see you? Please cut this lock. Thank you. We'll kind of check out Bond's new face texture here. Yeah, it looks nice. So, no uh, secret cheat code in the first level. Um, but there is one in level 2. Uh, also, I forgot to mention, you can now use the control stick to navigate through the menus. At least it works most of the time. <laughs> So the hidden cheat code for this level uh, is called Western District is the Wrong Way. So if you're paying attention here at the start, you'll see some of these highway signs. And one of them says Western District. So if Western District is the wrong direction, where do you think we need to look to find that secret? Probably right around here. So that'll give you the cheat code uh, that's called Flying Cars, and it's pretty comical. You'll like it. Again, you're not actually seeing the, uh, the passwords that unlock these cheats. Um, I'm just showing you exactly where those passwords will be when you install the mod for yourself. Let's do some hard mode with the shotgun. So this King Optical sign can actually be found in one of the older Bond movies. The one where he's in Japan and there's like a volcano lair at the end. I think it's called You Only Live Twice. Um, but if you look at the Tokyo night scene, um, you can find that King Optical advertisement in the movie. It's pretty cool. You can see the tokens have also been recolored for the driving missions, of course. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Getting rammed straight on. Yeah, we'll go this way, why not? So here's another secret a lot of people don't know about. These uh, fire escapes can actually be shot down. And they have a lot of weight to them, so if they land in front of you, they'll block you pretty good. Or whoever's behind you. James, there's a roadblock ahead. Slow down, Zoe. Gas station looking pretty spiffy with its new textures.
Straight ahead of us, Zoe. Why don't we drop in for a visit? On the catwalk ahead! For some reason, this box here is super explosive. <laughs> Just that box, none, none of the others. There's that HD uh, briefcase again. Hope you enjoyed that. So interesting thing. After he finishes staying car, you can uh, well, you can uh, quit the mission, <laughs> and you still progress. We just uh, found that recently. It's good for a full game speed run. Saves like three to four seconds. So I didn't point it out uh, earlier, but the um, you can see the emblem for the platinum requirement, the 70,000 plus the emblem. The emblem is now uh, platinum instead of the old bond move. That's what confused me as a kid, because it makes it look like you need to get all the bond moves, but you don't. All right, so the next hidden cheat is called Subway Soda, and it's in this mission. And it unlocks bullet time, which is a fun cheat you can turn on and off, and the game will turn to a very cool Matrix-like slow-mo speed. And it's super smooth. Whoa. Let's go this way. Sometimes I have trouble finding the subway. I th oh, there it is. Yeah, I took the right way. All right, so here's the subway. And if you come down here, there are these green soda machines. There's one on this end, and there's one on the other entrance. And you'll find your secret password on that machine. Whoa. I'm taking the long way around, huh? Oh, here's another funny secret <laughs> in this mission. You can use this uh, as a half pipe. So if you get enough speed, especially with the boost, you can really get some crazy half pipe action going. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. Alright, let's see how fast he is on Agent. Seems a little faster than Operative. Let's see, which way are you going to go? Whoops. Let's pick up an extra one just in case. This is actually a really fun sequence if played casually. Lots of action. There we go. You can also quit this mission and um, successfully complete it. All right, next up is bad diplomacy. There's no secret cheat in this mission, but there are some pretty cool stuff, things to see. <laughs> So these paintings were super low res before. Here's the original. 
I mean, looking at this, it's hard to tell what's even going on. There's a tree, there's like a field, but you know, this thing here could be anything. But uh, when upscaled, you can tell that it's a person pointing. It's pretty neat. We'll take a look at the other paintings as well. Very nice. Old, new. So, AUFR also um, reduces the amount of armor jackets you can find in single player. Like, there used to be one in here, but it was really kind of unnecessary because you don't take a whole lot of damage in this level. So anywhere it seemed like the game was um, expecting you to use stealth, I tried to remove armor jackets. Uh, here's the uh, last of the main three paintings. Pretty mean looking guy on a horse. The upscale kind of gives him a facial expression. I like it. So here's a funny thing. You can actually uh, crouch behind the desk here and avoid almost all damage. Very rarely will you get hit. <laughs> You can also leave out this way. You don't have to go back through Griffin's quarters. You just like backtrack the level. Oh wait, did I just... Mm, am I on the right floor? Yeah. All right, next mission is Cold Reception. And we'll take a look at the cutscene here because you can really see Bond's face really well in this. Mr. So here's the new old. Right this way, please. I'll kind of flip it back and forth so you can see the subtle improvement. Your interview with Ms. Malprave has been delayed. In the meantime, you can enjoy the view. I already am. So yeah. Pretty cool that we were able to pull a face texture from an unused face texture from an official game like that. Oh, a secret I want to show you here. There's no secret G code in this level, by the way. But there is a really cool secret in this level um, that's just kind of a happenstance um, thing. Sorry about if you're hearing any background noise. Give it just a second. Okay, so if you hit the alarm button and then run immediately forward through these doors, this guy will actually open this door for you. And you can do this section in a reverse order. <laughs> Alright, but you still have to take the photos. Also, these upscaled really nicely. Alright, let's try not to die. Alright, I said I wouldn't overuse the, uh, the gold P2K. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, so those guards are uh, are pretty tough in this level. I feel like they have some kind of damage multiplier applied to them. Um, and again, to enforce you to be more stealthy. And there used to be an armor here that I took away. Kind of make you be more careful. Boop.
Some other subtle gameplay changes you might have noticed. Um, there's no damage flash now, uh, which is nice, because that was really a big problem with the base game, especially for accessibility. Very strobe-like. Um, the aiming sensitivity has also been decreased a little bit, which is a welcome change. Makes it a little bit easier to aim. Oh, this guy. Give me that shotgun. I'm trying to think. There's not much in terms of secrets in this level. Um, you can actually get infinite score by going back and forth between these two remote points. You can activate them over and over again. <laughs> uh, kind of like the one in Evil Summit. But this one takes a lot longer, so it's not really... Not very user-friendly. Wow, tough guy. Let's get that. Oh, shit. We'll be okay. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> it's your only chance. Yeah, to uh, replace textures, I really just went through every level painstakingly, and anything that caught my eye, I ran it through the upscaler, and a lot of things didn't look good after upscaling, and a lot of things did, so I stuck with the, the stuff that looked good. Uh, here we are, Night of the Jackal. One of my favorite missions. Just really well made. Uh, so the uh, the background sky texture here is not exactly HD like it's supposed to be because I had to uh, do a little something to keep you from seeing the cheat code. So when you play the game, the uh, background scape will look a lot better. So yes, there is a cheat code in this mission. There's actually two potential cheat codes, so I'll show you both of them. I also want to show you a really neat secret in this mission. So, if you get the attention of these guys by killing, well, I thought by killing one of them, let's see. There we go. So, make them run over here, and then if you bounce a grenade to where it lands right behind them, it'll push the angles they're holding towards you and you can pick it up and you're not supposed to get this gun until the next section like it's not even possible in this map but uh yeah here you're able to get it early you can also get the ssr 4000 sniper rifle early by doing the same trick with this sniper if you throw a grenade and land it just behind him it'll throw the rifle off the roof and you can pick it up and that's also the earliest you can get that gun in this level the little things, you know, you gotta appreciate. <laughs> oh yeah, so the first uh, secret cheat. It's called Idol, the Idol Serpent's Grip, right? I think it's one of the more cryptic and, and weird ones to find because it's not actually a part of the environment, so to speak. So the Idol Serpent's Grip, right? What is a serpent in this game? Well, the Viper Pistol, which I'm holding in my hand. And it has a grip, and it also has an idle animation. So if you stand around long enough, Bond will reveal the side of the gun, and you'll get a glimpse of the code. Let's see if he moves it uh, to the side so we can actually see. It's a really exciting one to find. There you go. So you'll see the password on the bottom part of the grip if you wait around. And that will unlock the no clip code, which no doubt you'll want to have. A lot of fun. You can explore out of bounds and all that good stuff.
<laughs> All right. Was there something I wanted to show here? I'm not going to zoom in on sh on Zoe. It's not happening, guys. Oh, interesting thing. After this door opens, you don't have to walk in. If you just wait, there's a countdown timer and it brings you to the next section. It's like a super obscure thing. Uh, so the next hidden cheat code is coming up soon. This area got a pretty big overhaul with retexturing. Let's see with these computer images and then especially this spot. Holy cow. Look at that. It's pretty ugly. So the next hidden cheat is called a new window into the night, I believe. And yeah, if you walk past this spot, there's a scripted explosion here. And this certainly is a new window into the night. So if you jump up onto this ledge right here, you'll be able to see your password in this area. And that unlocks the dark license to kill mode, which gives you zero starting lives. And it also makes you die in one hit. And it's a real challenge, but a lot of fun. So these flags have also been upscaled nicely. Upscaled lockers. Alright, I also removed uh, some armor in the boss fights. So like in this fight, usually there's a... Uh, armor jacket here and then one after you get up to the second level after beating the jackal but I wanted to kinda of make things more tense and challenging and so I took those armor jackets out well, well, this thing's so in inaccurate oh thanks <laughs> Alright. Oh, I didn't get the sniper, did I? Uh-oh. You have to do this the hard way. So I'm using the rapid fire glitch there to fire faster. It's a really fun exploit. Ah, okay, I need to take this more seriously. I'm resorting to the the weenie gun. There we go. That's what the tokens used to look like. Kind of confusing with these being kind of the same color as the Bond Move token. Also, this looks nothing like what they're asking you to collect on the uh, title screen. <laughs> you can see uh, 007 bonus was renamed to 007 token. You know, token's kind of the um, adopted name for those little pickups you can get in this game and Nightfire. <laughs> <laughs> 